What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my two quart Cook's Essentials pressure cooker. Today for lunch for you guys, I'm going to make cabbage, sausage, and peppers and onions. Now a couple things drove me to do this video. First of all, this has been sitting in my freezer for like two, three months and I don't even know when I bought it, why I bought it, but it's going to get cooked today. <laughs> Second, I do want to do this cabbage diet soup thingy um, next week and I need some of y'all to do it with me. I have more on that uh, by the end of the week. I think I'm going to start it Monday. So, and I want to see how cabbage, you know, how long, because I'm going to do this for five minutes. And I want to check the consistency of the cabbage after five minutes. I haven't made cabbage in my pressure cooker in a minute. So just wanted to test it out. And, you know, this seems like a good meal. Third reason is um, a bunch of people in my kitchen gadget group are continuing to buy this machine. Um, a bunch of us have bought it six months ago. Actually, I wasn't going to buy it because I was, you know, it, believe it or not, I had a two quart Kasori um, and I sold it to get a three quart Instant Pot Mini. So I was good, but so many people in my kitchen gadgets group bought this machine and I just, I just fell in line and I said, I'm going to buy it too. <laughs> so shout out to everybody with the two quart uh, Cook's Essentials. I'm going to put a half a cup of water or a little less than that. Yeah, about a half a cup. And some vegetable broth or chicken broth would go nice as well instead of water, but... I'm, since I, I didn't put any broth in there, because I'm going to add some of this ginger sauce in there. And this is exclusive, I guess, to my um, meat market. So I'm just going to put a couple of dabs in there, just for some flavoring. I'm going to go ahead and dump my sausage in there. This is about a pound of sausage. So get that in there nice and good. I'm gonna go ahead and put my peppers in. I'm just dumping, guys. Just dumping them right on in there. It's like one pepper. So I have one red pepper, one green pepper. Then after this, we're just gonna pack the top with cabbage. Oh, actually, go get. I put our onions in. Put my onions in next. And we are going to pack it in really good. It smells fantastic already. All right, guys. So this is a half of a small cabbage. But really for this, you probably need half of a half of a small cabbage. That's all that will be able to fit if you follow this recipe. I'm going to hit it with some olive oil. That's what I like to do. That's not necessary, but I like to do that. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of smoked pap. And then finally, as you guys, my subscribers know, I'm gonna go to my go-to. Put that in there. And then I'm just gonna give that a mix. All right. We're gonna pack it in as much as we can. As you know, as you know, this is just going to shrink down down. So, although it's to the top, it won't look like that when it's done. And believe it or not, I almost got the half of the small cabbage in there, which is good. I didn't think I'd be able to fit that much. Awesome. Show you. Yeah. I'm just going to pack it down a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. That should be good. All right, guys. Let's see if I remember this. Uh, menu. Yeah, there we go. Menu. We want on pressure high, so we hit adjust. Five minutes. Start. Bam. And make sure your um, your valve is on uh, pressure. All right. Mm. 
Man, it smells good in here. Now, I ain't going to lie. It's going to take about seven or eight minutes to get the pressure because it's just so full. And, it, yeah, it just got the pressure now. So the five-minute countdown starts now. Um, yeah, because it's so full and, you know, this is such a small pressure cooker. I don't know what the wattage is, but just a lot. If you fill it up, it just allow seven, eight minutes. Don't worry. As long as your valve is on pressure, you're good. <laughs> I'll be back in five, y'all. All right, we are done, guys. I'm going to hit stop. That's what we're looking like. Yo, first of all, I want to tell y'all before I forget to tell you, it smells absolutely fantastic in here. Fantastic. Number one. All right, mixing it around, looking good. Now, I did drain a little bit of water out of here. What I would do if, uh, if I were doing this again, instead of a half a cup of water, I would do maybe, maybe one fourth or a little bit above that. But definitely, you don't need a half a cup of water with this. That's almost too much. But it is looking good. It is smelling fantastic. And I'm going to plate it up and we're going to have a bite. Now as a bonus, guys, I'll put it in this Tupperware so you can see how much a two-quart can really give you of food. You can see for yourself. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. Pimp like. I'm gonna go ahead and crush them for lunch. Come on now. There it is, guys. I'm ready, but a couple things I want to tell you. If you like your, like if I were to do this next time, now the cabbage is to the consistency that I like. So five minutes is fine. So when I do my cabbage diet and I'm making the soup, five minutes is all I have it for. But my green peppers, I mean my red peppers, my peppers turn to mush. So, which is fine. So if you want to do it, so first of all, cabbage, depending on how you like it, you could do from three to five minutes. So if you like it crunchier um, then I have it, then you could do it for three minutes. But what I would suggest if you want to follow my recipe, go ahead and freeze your, your onions and your peppers. Freeze them and then put them in for the five minutes so they'll come out nice and firm if you like it that way. I don't mind it because it's just my lunch. But again, if I was doing it again, I would freeze the peppers so that they would be... You would see them and, you know, they give you a little bit of crunch. But this cabbage is perfect for me. This is how I, and that's what I really wanted to test out today. So anyway, please take a bite. You got it? Man, that is fantastic. Mmm. This sauce is good. It got a little bite to it. Very good. Cabbage is good. This is really good, guys. And low key healthy, too. Y'all take another bite with me. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Before I even, while it's fresh in my mind, gotta shout out Shirley Stevens, Sheila, Patricia, Linda, Deb, Tammy. And again, the rest of my Kitchen Gadgets group, everyone that got this two-court. And to you out there, that's not in my fa uh, Facebook groups. Whoever got this two-court Cook's Essentials, big ups to y'all one time. I also want to uh, let you know, I'll put in the uh, link in the description to my pressure cooking group. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. Whatever pressure cooker you have, whether it be an Instant Pot, Ninja Foodie, this two-court Cook's Essentials, uh, Kasori, whatever you got, come in there, 
share what you're making, or do a search and get recipes. We'd love to see what you're making, though. Also, um, I'll put a link in the description to my merch. I got shirts. I got Cooking with Doug aprons, handbags. If you support Cooking with Doug, link will be there. Definitely get your merch. If you got an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. Check out what I'm making or what gadget I got or whatever. I, I, I post whatever kitchen related in there. And finally, um, if you have Spotify or iTunes, um, look up my podcast by typing in Cooking with Doug in those um, platforms and you can listen to my podcast. But other than that, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug. We out.